Hey everybody, welcome to the channel. Is this thing even? All right, my friends, first thing we're gonna do is go over some quick tools. We're gonna be using a chainsaw today with a small bar. Same kind of bar that's on your 170s and your 180s and your little 200 battery saws. We're also gonna be using a burr, a flame tip, quarter inch shaft, half inch green coarse burr right here in a die grinder. You guys are gonna need a torch and a Sandoflex flap sander. Now this is optional. If you don't have this tool, that's okay. You can get away with just your die grinder cleaning it up. Now you will need a torch as we'll have to burn the piece just a little, just a little. We wanna keep it happy. We don't wanna make it mad, but we are gonna to have to burn it just a little bit. You guys are also gonna need a little bit of green paint. I prefer the paint in the can, so if you guys can get yourself something like this, You'll be all set. So that's about the only color we're going to need to carve up this happy little tree today is just a little bit of green paint. So without too much further talking, we're going to go ahead and start taking this crazy little piece and shaping it into a tree. Now this is an off cut from some bigger pieces that Kyle did. And uh, I was able to get it when I kind of kicked him to the side and took over his channel here. But anyway, you guys can see the shape, right? It's kind of a triangular shape about the size of my hand. We're going to carve ourselves just a just a real happy tree in there today. Now I hope you guys are ready and prepared. Hope everybody stretched out and ate their Wheaties today. You know, we want to be safe, we want to have fun, we want to be strong. All right, I'm gonna do my best to walk you guys through this. First thing first, you guys gotta come in and start making some angle cuts like this. You're really gonna to need to angle the saw and sort of have this come up in like a pyramid kind of shape at the top. Now this is way too steep, so we're gonna have to go in and knock that back. Oh, that first cup always smells good. Let's go ahead, guys. We're gonna just keep working our way around, sort of rounding the piece a little bit as we go. Kind of knocking off these hard edges right here. Now, if you're really new to this, you know, just take your time. Go slow, make easy little cuts, little happy cuts, and uh, just stay safe with it. Now, I've kind of got that top down. We want to think about where the bottom's going to be. So what I'm going to do is use the nose of the saw, the nose of the bar, and we're going to make a line that goes all the way around. Let's go ahead and knock the rest of these corners straight down to the line. All right, that's going to be our rough shape and design that we're working with. So now you guys are going to want to go ahead tilt the saw at an angle like this and start making cuts up and down like that so you bring the saw down and bring the saw up now don't worry about this too much right when you as we're doing this this tree's not going to look very happy we get done with the chainsaw work, this tree still probably won't look very happy until we start using that die grinder with that flame bit, okay? So don't get discouraged, just keep having fun with it, you know? It's Wednesday, middle of the week, you guys are halfway to the weekend, right? All right. Work your way around the tree making these cuts.
for having fun now, aren't we? Really taking shape. So we're going to bring these branches down to about here. Now we're going to start working on creating a tree trunk. Hope you guys are having fun. If you're still here and you haven't given this video a thumbs up, be sure to do that. Give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe, alright guys? Because, let's face it, we are having fun, aren't we? I know you are. Because I am. Let's keep it. All right, let's make sure our tree branches are all hanging down about the same, same height. And we're gonna start thinking about making that tree trunk. We're gonna make this tree trunk for this tree. So what we're gonna do is, you guys can plunge cut, okay? So you wanna make sure you plunge cut with the lower portion of the bar. Start plunge cutting in, work your way down and out just a little bit. Feel the saw go through to the other side. You guys can see our mark. And the goal is to stop at that line you made earlier. So now you're going to take the saw, cut to the line you just made. I want to get in here and remove this piece. To start doing that all the way around. Little cuts. Another thing you can do is make a line below your branches. Kind of help guide you with your height. Now if your tree trunk looks like that, right there, that's okay. That is honorable. That is a great looking tree trunk. If you want to go further, you can keep making it more slim and a little more realistic. Alright, once that's done, we got to look at these are we need to finish up our branches just go in and finish making those cuts
All right, guys, I think that's going to be it for our chainsaw work. It's time to switch over to our get die grinder. Hope you guys are having fun. I know I am. So we've got our die grinder with our flame bit on there. You know, I hope you guys really are having a good time. This is such a great time to just get away from the hustle and bustle of your day, break your week up, just have some relaxing, thoughtful time to yourself. We're going to go in here with this die grinder. You know, right now is a great time to put gloves on. All right, we've got our gloves on. It's also a good time to wear a dust mask. I know I might not wear a dust mask today, but you guys should. It's a lot safer. It'll be a lot healthier for your lungs. Now, we got to go in with this die grinder and start making cuts, undercuts, rounding the top side of each branch and kind of cutting up underneath the branch that's above it. Now guys, this tree looks rough, a rough little tree. We're gonna just take our time and do our best to turn it into a happy tree by rounding off those branches. Just make those happy branches, you know, nice and smooth, rolling into one another, a nice slow movement into each. Your branches are all done. There's still some cute little fuzzies on there, but that's okay. We're going to take care of those in a few minutes. What you're going to want to do though is take this burr and start going around your tree and kind of just smoothing it up and shaping it up just a little bit. guys have smoothed that tree trunk out you can go around your base and remove any little saw marks and smooth it out clean it up so one last important thing you're gonna want to do is put your initials in the tree okay put your initials right in that tree using your die grinder now do it on the back of the tree or the very bottom. You can always take your tree, 
flip it over just like this put it right in that jaw horse put your initials right in the bottom Here on out, we'll have just a single camera view. The first thing you're going to want to do at this point is grab your sando flex or your flap sando and go around your whole piece. Now, I will say it's better to be going side to side and have this spinning so it's slapping down. If you're slapping upwards, you run a risk of ripping your happy little branches off. Now, be careful because when you go like this, that cord. Boy, it wants to ruin your day and maybe even shock you. So be careful, because that would not be a happy, happy way to go. Whew, that was close. It was almost not a happy day. Tell you what. to uh, hit our little tree with just a little bit of a torch here. What you want to be able to do is burn the trunk and burn the top very, very lightly, but burn the trunk a little bit darker. Okay, once you've hit it with the torch, you're going to need to get the flap sander out again. Go around the upper part of the tree. Looking good. Hit the base of the tree very, very lightly. And go around and clean up any spots on the base that are burnt from the torch, but try not to touch your tree trunk. Once that's done, you're going to want to take just a nice little breath, little gust of air and dust it off. Ah. That's a great looking piece. How'd you guys do? How's it look? I bet your guys' tree is looking awesome. I know this tree's looking pretty darn good. Let's go ahead and grab that green paint because you know, it's not really a tree without its color. Now a good way to do this is to take this out and hold it right in your hand if possible or rest it on something and spray away from the base. As you can see, we're just spraying the tree here with this paint. It is a good idea to wear a mask, guys, because this stuff is not good for you to be smelling all the time. Right? Boy, that tree's really coming to life now, isn't it? Now, if you have more than one green in your inventory, you can always spray a little bit over the top and, you know, add colors and mix it up and really make it your own. But if not, that's okay. You've got this happy little green tree right here. It's ready to go to a new home and some new owners. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys had a lot of fun. Just wanted to say congratulations on your little happy tree, guys. You know, if your tree didn't come out quite like this, you had some hiccups here and there, that's okay, because we don't make mistakes. We make happy little accidents, and they turn into happy little trees. I just want to say I thank all of you for being here. Hope you all had a lot of fun, had a relaxing time carving and creating and getting out of the mindset of the world. And from me to you, God bless, and I hope you all have a great evening.
I'll see you guys later. Hey guys, well, I don't, I don't know what happened. I, I ran out of time to do a video today where we're going to carve something up together, but I got to go. So, you know, you guys have to check out a video popping up. Maybe we can get this thing worked out better for next Wednesday. So, hope you guys had fun. See you later.